All right, today is uh, Monday, December 26th. I was excited to get back here. It's been a little bit since I've been here at the holiday festivities, but uh, so far I've got one, two, three, four, five circuits run. Um, mostly the whole bathroom and then a hall, the main hallway lights, and then a smoke detector uh, circuit. I did all of them on one circuit. I don't think it requires more than that. So I got this hall bathroom done today. Uh, a lot of planning takes a, takes a good bit. Actually, I didn't finish it because I was going to wire in two more lights, but that'll be easy just off there to there to there. Um, outlets, you have to have those, it has to measure within six feet, there has to be an outlet, uh, according to the National Electric Code. Um, as long as a wall is over 24 inches. So there'll be a tub here, and <clears throat> next to that tub will only be, you know, 12 inches or so. So there's nothing needed there. Uh, put one there, there. Uh, there will be a 72-inch vanity here from there to, I can't see with all my, to there. Uh, the thought here is to have double mirrors, one here, one there, and then some kind of light fixture in the middle. Uh, this will be a GFCI outlet. That has to be a dedicated 20-amp circuit. Um, I think it, I was reading today that it used to be, you could share that 20 amp circuit vanity outlets with other bathrooms, um, actually with other outlets, but they changed it to where it has to be dedicated. So if you want outlets above a, a counter, um, vanity counter, it has to be a dedicated 20 amp circuit. And then I did a switch here for that vanity outlet, that way if, um, you wanted to leave all the main lights off in here and only flip that one on. Could be too much to have all these lights going. I figured I'd have that one there. Um, and then I got a, a dead, I did four or 12 two wire for my outlets, which is supports up to 20 amps. Um, probably it just has, whatever you do, you can downsize that to a 15 amp, um, outlet but your breaker has to match. You can oversize your wire, you can't undersize your wire. So I did a 20 amp circuit for that. Uh, that wire, it feeds into that first one in the hallway, then to that box, then to that box, up, across, and down to this box, to that box. This was fun getting back through there. Um, I left a little bit of a loop here, just in case the electrical inspector gives me a hard time for going around that post. I really don't want to drill into these. I'm pretty sure I can, but I don't want to. So I went around that on the girt, um, stapled it good so it's not <clears throat> gonna be in the way. Um, then through there to this outlet. Again, I measured, I measured from here to there and it's exactly six feet. So I can, if I have to, I can put another one in over there. Actually, if he makes me go through that post, uh, then what I was going to do was actually put an outlet on this side and use the rest of my slack instead of, uh, cause I can't put a junction box in a hidden wall from there. It goes over here up because I can't drill through this to get into this wall. So I had to go up and then I came back through my eye joist across down that header to there to that box. And junctioned off this one and I was going to go up and go across my eye joists but my ductwork is going to be out here in the garage and then come down here so I didn't want to have to worry about uh, going around a wire uh, so I went across the bottom here came up and then I went through my header um, the header framing which I got to read up on that code I don't think it's a big deal because the main support is here and then across and then down to the outlet because this wall would have been over 24 inches 
Um, the shower will be like 60. Then there'll be a short wall like right there. And so I would have had a 24 inch, I think I'd have had a 24 inch um, wall with no outlet. Um, and that door is gonna open in that way. So I, I wouldn't be able to put one back here and use it effectively. So I may not have needed one here, but I think it'll be good. And that's it. So then I did, so for uh, the light circuit, you know, most lights nowadays are LED and they're very low amperage and voltage. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights plus this um, vanity light. So nine lights in here on a 15 amp circuit. Um, that would be using hardly anything. Maybe a couple of amps, if that, if they're all, if they're all on. And again, this one's on a switch. So, uh, the main power comes into here for that circuit. And then I fed one up and over to, to that, uh, to that box and then off there to the switch. And then I also fed the laundry room off this. So the laundry room lights, which... I'm just going to do like two, two, two. So there'll be uh, maybe six lights in here because there'll probably be some cupboards up above on the side. So you wouldn't have lights there. So it'll be just down the middle. So this room will have uh, lights off that circuit. So I did a feed from that box to this. Um, and then I do plan to have another switch for probably under cabinet lighting so I'll wire in some boxes a little bit or a box higher up to where it would end up behind a cabinet and then I'll put the little uh, DC converter in the cabinet and then the lighting can go underneath so I'll probably do that on two sides tie it back together in this box uh, I gotta get a 50 amp breaker installed for my dryer which will be or a 50 amp circuit installed for my dryer which will be over here um, you have to have if you have anywhere you have a counter you have to have outlets every 24 inches i read and then you, again the outlets have to be six foot so i'll have a you know wherever there's cabinets in here i'll have to raise them up and put them on the counter so i'll have to have them every 24 inches so there'd be a crap ton of outlets in there so hopefully tomorrow i can get that done and then this will be a pantry which will have shelving all the way around with cabinets up above i might not do too many cabinets in the laundry room because i'd like some hanging space but in here i definitely want shelving cabinets counter all the way around uh, so this room will have a lot of outlets as well and then lighting again i'll probably just do two four six and then probably one up here, maybe two little ones. So when you're getting into the deep freeze, you can actually see most of those, I don't think have lights in them, if I remember correctly. So, um, so I'll try to get that done tomorrow and the kitchen, if I have time, I got a, I got a groove figured out now. It's just been challenging trying to figure out you know where I'm going to drill and how I'm going to get around things and so I think I've got that figured out now and then um, pull some I'm going to run mostly 12-2 wiring which is 20 amp breakers except for lighting all my outlets will be 20 amp I got to run another another one out here that will go through that conduit into the um, large uh, island uh, so that's it for today I also got this bath fan installed for the most part. Uh, it's kind of challenging because it's like an exact fit between there. So I had to take the exhaust vent off of the unit. Um, a lot of measuring, a lot of fiddling around. Um, cut that six inch hole for the vent to go through. Kind of keep that up in there and then put this up in and get the a little tab to stick in and screw it together. Um, and then I figured out like, I had to figure out where to go out the building. Um, so it's gonna go out right up there, comes out 
uh, plenty of distance from the window and it'll come out right between uh, the, tr the mono trusses of the porch and they make a um, they make a soffit to vent for these um, I'm not sure how inspectors feel about that being coming out of a, a soffit but I want as few perforations out of the roof as possible so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some six inch vent put it out that way and then put a uh, put a soffit vent on it it'll just It'll just come out there with a vent on it for now because I don't have the soffit in. But uh, that took a while. That took over an hour to figure that one out. And I had to make up these braces to kind of hold it in place because I had to make little tiny shims to go in there to have enough to screw that little flange to. Um, and these just sit on the eye joists and then I'll screw them in from the top. I had a little bit of play in it, but the vent kind of keeps it in the exact place it needs to be. So um, you usually want this a little bit closer to your humid area, like the shower area, but I didn't want to have to drill through all of those and that'll be above the toilet. I, I care more about venting of smells. <laughs> and this is a huge fan because this is a big bathroom. Um, it's a Panasonic FV20 VQ. Three, I can't remember how many CFMs it is, but it's pretty crazy. 100 and, it's 100 and something. It might be an adjustable, I can't remember. But I got one in, one for this bathroom and then one this size for my master bathroom. And then the little ones for the two bathrooms upstairs have our brawn. They're like 80 CFMs and they have lights in them. I didn't really care to have a light in that one. The price was quite a bit more and I, I did plenty of lighting, so.